Hey everyone, this is Jack from Victory Camera, and today I'm going to be walking you through developing black and white film at home. This video is going to cover the standard three bath process, developer, stop bath, and fixer. I'll also cover some of the fundamentals like loading your film into the tank, so you can refer back to this video when you're watching our future ones covering mono bath or color film processing. Let's get started with the equipment you'll need. Most important is a daylight developing tank in the middle there. And then I have my three graduated cylinders in the top left, along with funnels and a thermometer for testing the temperature of my developer. Then I have my chemicals on the right, developer, stop bath, and fixer. And right below that, I have a changing bag. You need your daylight tank, your film, scissors, and an opener for the film canister. I'm just demonstrating this in light so you can see how it goes, but this has to be done completely in darkness. So if you can practice with a dummy roll, that's a great idea. But you'll take your film reel off the center column. These things uh, open up when you're done, or you can expand it to hold 120 film as well. But this is 35 millimeter size. It has two notches that you'll feel for to know where to insert the film. Now we're gonna open up the film canister with the can opener or the bottle opener. Might take you a few tries and careful you don't hurt your fingers. Now you pop the film out and then it has this leader on it which you'll know from loading it into the camera. And we're gonna cut the leader so that you have a totally flat end of the film strip. That's so it'll feed evenly on both sides into the reel here. So now you'll feel for those triangular notches and put the film in directly there and then it'll snap onto two beaded catches. And once it's on properly, you start rotating the reel and it'll feed the film into itself with each rotation. All right, now once you get to the end, cut the film off as close to the end as you can, feed it a few more times onto the reel, and there you go. Load the reel onto the center column and put the other reel on top just so it stays in place while it's in the tank. Put that whole thing in the tank lock your funnel in place, and now the container is light tight. So you can pour chemicals in and out, but no light is getting in. I like to put the lid on just as a little safety thing, make myself at ease. You can use a totally blacked out room for this, but I just prefer the changing bag, but it takes some practice. So again, try this with a dummy roll before you try it in the complete darkness. Now let's talk about chemistry, starting with developer. Developer does just what it says. It develops the exposed layers of silver into a visible image. This is the most sensitive of our three steps, and it's the only one you really have to worry about temperature with, because the warmer the developer, the faster the chemical process will happen. Today I'm using EcoPro's ascorbic acid powder, which is the same as Kodak Extol. Developer goes bad with oxidization, so I'm just mixing it enough for one or two rolls. We could do a whole video on chemistry, but for now, just mix your chemicals according to the instructions provided. I use these graduated cylinders, but you can use a Pyrex or other measuring cup and pour it into old bottles, uh, just make sure you rinse it very well between chemicals because you don't want to contaminate them. As you mix up the, the part A, it'll change colors, getting this yellow color. You keep stirring it until it's completely dissolved before you can add part B. Now I'm going to add part B. Water first, mix that around, and then pour in the dry chemicals. Then keep giving that a stir until it's cleared up and let it sit for a few minutes before you try to developing with it. For stop bath, I like to use distilled white vinegar because it's so easy to get your hands on, and I mix this at a ratio of three parts water to two parts vinegar. Real photographic stop bath is just an acid like this, and it lasts a long time and is cheap, so it doesn't hurt to get it, but vinegar you can find at any grocery store. Last but certainly not least is your fixer. This actually strips the light-sensitive silver particles off of the film, rendering it safe to expose to light. Fixer can last a long time, and it won't oxidize like developer, and you can reuse it on multiple rolls of film. It will become exhausted when too saturated with silver, but to test this, you can drop your film leader in there and give it a few minutes to see if it turns translucent. If it does, the fixer is still good to go. Okay, now that we've got all our chemicals mixed, set yourself up in order from developer to fixer. Put on some eye protection, an apron if you want, and we're ready to get started. You can look up your development times online based on your specific film and developer. I'm using Kodak Trax 400, so that means seven minutes at 68 degrees developer. Start off with a water rinse to get any debris or oil off of the film. And then I'm putting a little bit of Vaseline around the rim of the tank to prevent leaking. Should have done that before the rinse. 
and in goes our developer. You start the timer and then agitate by turning it up and down for the first 30 seconds. This footage is sped up, so it looks a little faster than it actually is, but you wanna make sure that you're coating the film completely in developer, and then I tap the tank on the counter to get rid of any bubbles clinging to the film. Then every 30 seconds, you're gonna agitate it for another five seconds for the rest of the seven minutes. Once your seven minutes are up, you're gonna invert the final time and then pour your developer back into its original container. After that, to stop the reaction, you're gonna pour in your stop bath and agitate in the same pattern for 30 seconds to one minute. And once that's done, pour it out and pour in your fixer. And that one will go in the same pattern for two to five minutes. And then you're ready for a final rinse, which I do with the Ilford method. That means you fill the tank, invert it five times, dump that out, fill it again and invert it 10 times, and then dump that out and invert it 20 times. Once your final 20 inversions are done, you wanna dump it out and then rinse off the entire tank just to make sure you're not contaminating anything. And wash your hands well, and then you'll be ready to pull out your film. Unlock your funnel, pull out your reels, and snap it apart, and there you have it. You've got developed film. Now, one other tip is that I like to squeegee the film with my fingers, as long as they're clean, to make sure you don't get any water spots as it dries. And you're all done. You wanna hang it up to dry somewhere on a clothesline or like I did on a light here. And in a few hours, it'll be dry and ready to scan. Stop bath and fixing, unlike developing, are not super temperature sensitive. So as long as it's around room temperature, you should be good to go. You really just want to avoid shocking the film with wildly different temperatures because that can cause it to warp or other weird stuff. If you only have one thermometer and you want to check the temperature of your stop bath or your fixer, just make sure to rinse it really well before and after to avoid contaminating any of your chemicals. You don't want to get any fixer in your developer because that can instantly ruin your film. And if you get the acidic stop bath in the basic developer, it can hinder the process. So, Contamination this way is almost unavoidable when you're developing in the tank, but contamination this way is really important to avoid. Most developers and stop baths can safely go down the drain when combined to create a neutral pH solution. Fixers, on the other hand, should never go down the drain because once they're used, they're full of metallic silver that most cities can't filter out of the water. Take it to your local hazardous waste disposal facility, or you can try calling a local film processing store or university chemistry department and ask if they can accept it for safe disposal. So there you have it. That's how you develop black and white film with the three-step process. Comment below if you have any questions about this video and head over to victorycamera.com to see what kind of developing gear we've got or come see us in person here in Boulder. You can pick up some film and give this a try yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.